First, many of you don't know me well, but my background is in journalism. I was trained as a journalist and worked as a reporter and eventually an editor and publisher. And I'm still in that mindset. I still find myself asking a lot of questions. And I think the caucus staff would, would uh, confirm that or anyone who served on a committee, I tend to ask a lot of questions. So I'm sitting there listening to the state of the state. Uh, much like you, I do not have an advanced copy. And I'm hearing for the first time what the governor is talking about. And I'm asking a lot of questions. Uh, because you, you hear some of the comments and you say, well, that makes a good sound bite, but where's the substance? What, what's behind this? What are the details? And, and so I still have a lot of those questions that hopefully uh, we'll have an opportunity to get answered uh, next week when we see the blue book, we see the governor's budget proposal, which hopefully will then fill in some of the details that were missing from today's presentation. Uh, I do want to say that I appreciated the governor's uh, support for many programs that Republicans have championed here in Columbus uh, for more than a decade. Uh, we, we created some of these programs, we support them, continue to support them, uh, and we want to continue working in a bipartisan manner uh, to make these programs successful. I think our track record over the last uh, two years of working with this governor shows that we are bipartisan, that we do work together on key issues, our interests are on what's best for the state of Ohio, we're able to put party politics aside, have healthy debate, but at the end of the day, enact legislation that benefits Ohioans, and we look forward to doing that. Uh, he talked about investing in new technology to build new industries and jobs. Clearly, you know, if you're at home today, your concern is, do I have a job tomorrow? Am I going to be able to make my mortgage payment next week? And we want to focus on those activities that are going to help create jobs, preserve jobs, so that the people that we represent have that security that they are going to be able to remain in their home, provide for their children, and send them to the, uh, to the schools of their choice. Uh, we appreciated his uh, supporting the Republican plan to keep taxes low and to his uh, reaffirming his commitment uh, to maintain the tax breaks that we instituted. Uh, that was certainly a welcome news, and I think you saw that uh, from the Republican side of the aisle, that they were very appreciative of, of his renewed commitment uh, to work with Senator Harris and, and agree with Senator Harris that we want to preserve those tax breaks because they are so important to restoring the vitality of Ohio's economy. Again, uh, bipartisan support in terms of improving the quality of our children's education. We all want the best for our children. And, and we continue to work with the governor and will continue to work with him on programs to ensure that children do get excellent education. Uh, you know, one of the questions I had for him, frankly, uh, when he talked about the charter schools. And he was asking about the issue, and I think he singled out uh, as long as they were not from uh, for-profit companies. And my question was, well, if our goal is a quality education for all Ohio students, why do we care who provides it? Let's get them a quality education. And so I certainly want to work with my colleagues to make sure that we are providing that quality education. Uh, he talked about providing more options for health care that cost less. And I'll remind everyone that uh, two years ago in the budget, we did pass expansion of health care, in particular uh, children's health care, up to 300% of poverty. Uh, the administration actually has had the authority to expand health care, but so far has not chosen to do that. So we look forward to the continuing debate on that and uh, again, asking the governor to, to follow through on commitments that we actually put in the budget two years ago. Uh, we support his effort about making government uh, leaner and more accountable to taxpayers. Uh, in these difficult economic times, we want to make sure that every taxpayer dollar we have is spent wisely, spent, spent prudently, and is, is going to be, there's going to be a payback for our taxpayers. So again, uh, this has been our agenda. We've demonstrated that. Uh, in working with this governor over the last two years, and we can put aside partisan differences so that we do work in the best interest of all Ohioans. Um, the budget situation.